is religion like a virus? Because it does seem particularly virulent, and like every culture at some point in history has caught some version of it, with symptoms like a feeling of superiority over anyone who hasn't got the disease, or who hasn't got the true disease. The delusion that if you don't have this disease, there is no way you can be happy or moral. Getting incredibly offended if somebody doesn't want to be infected with your disease. And, in extreme cases, forcing people to wear clothes they don't want to, stopping them from getting married, sabotaging medical and scientific research, and even killing people if they haven't been infected or not infected in the right way with your religious rabies. And if a cure isn't administered early enough, then the prayer plague can become a chronic illness disabling you for life, particularly if you've caught one of the more violent and life-threatening viruses like the Islamic infection. And if you do catch the 24-hour to 48-year god bug, very rarely is it happy to just stay in your body, but instead, like a parasite, forces its host to do incredibly dangerous things that they normally wouldn't dream of doing in order to spread the word of God from one victim to another. Like knocking on a complete stranger's door at 7am on a Sunday morning and asking them if they felt the infection of the Holy Spirit spreading through them and doing this armed with nothing but a stack of disease information pamphlets about the violent kind of heart disease that comes with letting Jesus into it, and the hope that the particular atheist upon whose door you've just knocked doesn't actually need to be contaminated by Christ in order to know that it's not okay to kill you. But the good news is there are some very simple things that you can do to avoid catching infections like the Vatican virus, like thinking critically, being scientifically literate, watching my videos, and of course laughing at creationism. But by far the most effective way to immunise yourself against the deity disease is to just read a holy book, because the one sure cure for the holy herpes is to read a book like the Bible or the Quran. It's called creationism, where you throw science to the wind. Yes, creationism, where you let the crazy roll the right on in.